To get the most out of Terminator X, you should keep the firmware up to date, especially if you use a laptop along with Terminator X software to tune your ECU. The software actually requires you to have the latest firmware updates before it connects to the ECU. Not only that, Holly's continually making updates and adding features, so it's definitely a good idea to stay on top of these updates. Updating the firmware is a straightforward process. Just remember, your handheld display has firmware and so does your Terminator X ECU, so both items need to be updated. To make sure we don't have any hiccups while we do our updates, make sure the only thing connected to the CAN bus is your handheld display. We don't want to have a splitter on there with a laptop hooked up, we don't want a digital dash hooked up, we don't want none of that, just your handheld display while we do these updates. With all of that out of the way, the first thing we want to do is save our tune or our calibration. Remember, our calibration is actually in the Terminator X ECU and not on the handheld. So let's make sure we save it before we update. Simply turn the key on and grab your handheld display. From the home screen, click on File, Global Configs. Keep in mind that our most current calibration is in our Terminator X ECU and not the SD card. The calibration listed here is the first base calibration your wizard created. So if you've done any changes to the calibration, you want to download the current one. The way you do that is by clicking download from ECU. Our ECU stores the latest calibration. Let's download it and save it to our SD card. Make sure to rename the file so we can easily find it later. Click on save GCF as and rename the file. Then press OK. The download progress bar is storing our calibration in our SD card. Now we have two calibrations in our SD card, the initial one that we created when we ran the wizard for the first time and the current one. We can turn the key off and remove the SD card from our handheld. Insert the SD card into your laptop or computer. I'm using Windows 10, but everything I do should be pretty much standard fare on other versions of Windows. Open File Explorer. It can usually be found on your toolbar, it's the folder icon. You can also right click on the Start Windows button and select it from there. Once it's open, let's locate our SD card. Click on This PC and you'll see all the devices connected to your computer including our SD card. It should have a numeric name followed by an alphabet letter, usually D, but it could be E, F, or G. Click on it to expand the folder, double click on the Holly folder. There should be a folder that starts with FW followed by some numbers. If there is more than one of these folders, you'll have to double click each one till you find the saved GCF folder. This folder contains all our saved calibrations that we previously copied to the SD card. Double click on the File Explorer toolbar to minimize it, then we can go ahead and select them all and drag them to the desktop. Double click on the File Explorer toolbar to expand it. Let's click on our SD card. Select all the files and click on the delete button on the toolbar, or you can right click and hit delete, or even drag them all to the recycle bin. Confirm by clicking yes. Our SD card is now clean and ready for the new files. Let's open a web browser and go to Holly's website at holly.com. We'll click on the support tab, then click on EFI software. Here you can find all of Holly's EFI software updates. Let's scroll down to the Terminator X section and click on Terminator X SD card contents. If you look down below, our browser is asking us if we want to save the file. Click save. After it's done downloading, we have the option to open the files. We'll just close our browser and open them through File Explorer. In File Explorer, let's find our downloads folder. It should be on the left hand side after this PC. Click on it and let's find a zip file that starts with tech library. We're going to extract all these files since they are compressed in a zip file. Right click the file and select extract all. Make sure show extracted files when complete is checked off. Then click extract. A new window will open with our extracted files. Double click on the folder. You should see three files, including a Holly folder. These are the files we need to copy to our SD card. Select these files and let's drag them to our SD card, which should be empty. This might take a moment. Once it's done, verify you have a Holly folder, save data logs folder, and a .fwu file saved in there. Click the minimize button to view our desktop. Your SD card now has the latest Terminator X firmware updates. All that's left is to copy our calibrations back to our SD card from the desktop. 
Like before, we want to put our calibrations in the Save the GCF folder. Click on the Holly folder, then on the FW folder. If there's a few FW folders, you can go with the numerically higher folder to find the Save GCF folder. Now we can select our calibrations from the desktop and drag them onto the Saved GCF folder. We can now eject our SD card from our computer. Insert the SD card onto your handheld display. Turn the ignition key on and your handheld display will automatically update its firmware. Once the update completes, remove the SD card and reinsert it. The home screen will prompt up. With our handheld firmware updated, we now just need to update our ECU. From the home screen, go to File, then to ECU HWFW icon, and click on the Update ECU Firmware. Once the update is complete, hit OK. We'll cycle the ignition, and now all that's left is to reload our calibration. From the home screen, click on File, Global Configs, select your calibration, 85 Stang in our case, and click on Upload to ECU. Hit OK, and we're done. Now you got the latest firmware on your handheld and on your Terminator X. We'll cycle the key and since we updated the ECU firmware, we'll have to do a TPS auto set. From the home screen, click on Wizards and then click on TPS auto set. You'll be prompted to step on the throttle two times. Make sure the engine is not running, but the ignition key is on. To auto set the TPS, slowly press the pedal to the floor, then slowly release it back. Do this two times. If you did it right, you'll get confirmation that it was successful. And there you have it. We've updated our handheld and our Terminator X to the latest firmware updates. For more tech tips on Terminator X, head on over to holly.com.